Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Big D Country. Man, oh man, I got some stuff to tell you. I mean, it's been a crazy disaster of a week in Big D Country. And also, I have my guest that uh, I'm going to introduce you in, in a few minutes. But you know how I'm going to introduce him. I mean, I got to have, I still got to add the fun, even though this week is an epic fail. But uh, I do have a support uh, rant update. Um, the uh, uh, the chief justice is finally getting along with the person that had the uh, anxiety. Finally, get along with her, and uh, it's great to hear about that. But that 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 fake fake news of a place is still a dump. I mean, I don't know why CPS threatens people not to send people to the dump if they want kids to be crying every time they come home. I mean, it's really, it's really, it's really a nuisance. It's really, it's really terrible that they do that. Especially, especially when I went to school, you know, but it's a different story for another time. Yeah, and this, uh, and then, um, and then while that's happening, I, yeah, I'll, I'll put that on another rant too. And uh, hopefully, one of these days, I could have to share up on the show that he could talk about it. But uh, hopefully, he could come on too. Uh, but other than that. Uh, this week, this Valentine's, I mean, it was a joke. It was a complete, utter joke. So, uh, the brand new Senate, uh, the brand new Senate President and uh, President, Madam President of Big D Country doesn't like me because sweetheart and well, we're still friends, but then I got hurt that one, and then not only turn around after that, found out that somebody else liked it, uh, the uh, the first lady of Big D Country. Now I didn't forgive him, but I had to. I had to let this out. Just annoying. He, he just. I mean, just flat out. Maybe he had a heart attack. I had a heart attack and went nuts. And yes, I did ban him, but I was hurt. And he cursed at me with emojis, and then put the middle finger up at me with an emoji. And oh so, my goodness. and then he changed his name to Deshaun's Enemy 666, but that was totally uncalled for. And, uh, I mean, I, yes, I did forgive him, but I did ban him, yes, but then I've been I've been temporarily fired from my senior management position, so, I mean, it's like it's already, I've been kicked down. But then turn around, it's not, it's not, it wasn't over yet. It wasn't over yet. But yes, I did forgive just the noise. I just don't like to be hurt like that when I'm already down. It just triggers some bad memory. You know, it just triggers me missing my late wife. And I'm the one that's the widower. I have severe, I've been diagnosed, literally diagnosed by a psychiatrist, by an actual psychiatrist with severe depression and PTSD. Literally. 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 And to have that happen, or it's supposed to be a week of love, turn out to be a week of hate and a disaster. But there's more. I was supposed to do this in paramation, but I'll do this in, in turn a little bit a uh, little bit later on another show. But I'll just give you a synopsis of that. If that wasn't enough, Dr. Irene had some kind of item that was supposed to be returned that she could have uh, have money. She lost a thousand dollars. She lost a thousand dollars. Okay. Now that's a lot of money to lose because of a shipment, and UPS did it, did her wrong, did her wrong. UPS, I mean, what are you doing? What the cat are you doing? And then the sheriff, you mind tell me before I introduce you? I know that you you come on when, after I introduce, but you mind tell me what you what happened to you if you if you want to? I mean, you don't have to, yeah. but yeah, I know. Sure. Today, I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah, today um we yeah we were supposed to work on our on our solar links, but um the dam you know when after the guy was finished installing it, but you know the dam thing wouldn't even turn on. So now I'm got to sit here with the regular energy, you know, and bullshit like that. Oh, you know. No, you. I say it too. You're good. You're good. You're yeah, good. So, I so say I like that. Too. Jason, you know, I blame Jason Waller, creator of Pink Energy. He's a crook and a bastard. Oh my God! Wow, what is go- what is going on here, Chef? Are we at World War One in Big D country? I mean, I don't me, know, dude, but I'm picking. What is going on? And they first me, 
Then, my friends, it's like a snowballing effect to everybody in Big D country. This whole uh-huh. week, I tell you, I'm not going to be here the same time next week. If I'm not in a new state, like if I'm not in Houston by the time next year, if I have to wait and I have to do a temporary short lease until I get a place, I'm going on another trip. I don't care about this week anymore. I do not care. I want this to be done, and I'm crying, Uncle. I've been crying off and on, except for that family feud, funny family feud answer by uh, uh, the, the uh, Secretary of Community and, and Education that got his office back because of that. But still, this week is, was a total disaster. We almost didn't yeah. come on today. We almost, we almost went on tomorrow. We almost didn't come yeah, on today. Exactly. Oh my God! So let me get with the interview. I'll tell I'll tell you the rest of the rant, and I usually do it by paramation after I calm the hell down. Anyway, exactly. so. Oh, woo! oh damn it! Anyway, 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 anyway. CPS in Albany, you are scumbag. Stop threatening kids. Stop threatening kids. Stop. Threatening kids, you dope. Exactly. They don't want to. They're not happy at their situation with a certain school. They should be happy getting education. Education is supposed to be fun, not a turmoil. It's supposed to be exactly. fun. CPS, your stupid CPS. Anyway, let's get the, let's get to the ready. But my guess, you already heard him, and I was supposed to do my uh, proper intel. Let me get my proper intel. My guest is part of the law, which is headed by uh, uh, law president Nick. But my guest, and he has uh, his uh, uh, police chief, uh, the chief of police, with, with him as well. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the sheriff of Big D country is in town. <coughs> We're going yeah. to the nation chamber today. I fought the law and the law one. I fought the law and the Law was supposed to me staying with that day. I fought the law and the law won. I fought the law and the law won. We're going to talk about elimination chamber, but it's from Montreal. The same place that the school job involving Bret Hart. The sheriff yeah. is the guest today. I fought the law and the law won. I fought the law and the law won. Ladies and gentlemen, from Houston, Texas, the sheriff of Big D Country, Big C. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Oh, uh, you're welcome, buddy. You're welcome. I'm, I love introducing guests in my kind of flair. You know, I'm still an entertainer, even though it's the week I, I just got the crap uh, beaten out of fear this week. But, uh, but what can I say? Elimination chamber, yep. buddy. You ready? Yep. Yes, sir. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I said, are you ready? That's right. I am ready, buddy. Then, for the thousands that will be in tennis in Montreal and the yep. millions that will be watching at Peacock and all other streams. Yep. Huh. Oh. Rumble. Elimination Chamber! Yeah. All right, Big C, Sheriff, you're up. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Porter. That's right, wrestling fans. It's Elimination Chamber weekend. Tomorrow night, Elimination Chamber, Saturday, February 18th, 2023. And here's the match rundown. Match we one down. For a lim- six elimination chamber match for the United States Championship, Austin Theory versus Seth Rollins versus Johnny Gargano versus Bronson Reed versus Damian Priest of the Judgment Day versus Damian versus Montez Ford of the Street Profits. I'm oh, wow. thinking Seth Rollins to keep it. I'm, I'm thinking Seth Rollins is going to take the title. Oh. Yeah, I think you're going to take it home to my one that was opposed to be my wrestling cross, uh, Becky Lynch. You think that's <laughs> going to happen? I don't know, dude. 
Well, hopefully I could I have my eye on Rhea Ripley, but uh, they had that Valentine's Day segment. I was like, well, I've already got, you know, funny. when he's down. It was funny, though. Yeah, I heard it was funny, though. I heard, I heard it was funny that, that her date got arrested. Yeah. All right, Elimination Chamber match for, the Raw, for a Raw Women's Championship match at WrestleMania next month. Asuka Ooh. versus Liv Morgan versus Nikki Cross versus Raquel Rodriguez, Natalia, and Carmella. I have a few that I like in there. Asuka haven't held the championship in so long. I think she's one favorite. I've also liked Liz Morgan to uh, to be a WWE champion once again. Or, wait, has she been champion? I don't think she has. I can't recall. Yep. But uh, yeah, my two, my two is uh, Liz Morgan and also Oscar. And then who was the others again? We got Nikki Cross, Raquel Rodriguez, Natalia Neidhart, and Carmella. Okay, I also going to give uh, Nikki Cross uh, a, a part of the uh, um, part of the double down, so she's part of there. Well, I'm going to say Oscar, Natalia Neidhart. And I'm gonna say Oscar's gonna win the win it. I'm gonna I say Oscar's gonna go for the title next month. Ooh, yeah, I have a toss up. It's it between Liz Morgan and Oscar. It's a double down for me. But or we're could be be some, or there could be a mystery, or there could be a mystery entrant, probably. <sighs> just, in oh, yeah. injured, just, just, just in case someone gets injured. Just in case someone gets injured. Yeah, you're right about that because. We were doing the Royal Rumble, and there was an entry that we uh, – uh, there's a few things on Rumble that we wasn't able to talk about. But, yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. All right, Roman, okay. This is the big one, the singles match for the WWE Universal Heavyweight Championship, undisputed WWE title. we got Roman Reigns with Paul Heyman against the under – Underdog from the underground, Sami Zayn. I hope Sami Zayn takes it and goes on to WrestleMania. Brother, friend, sheriff, you read my mind. I'm riding. I'm riding. I'm a. I'm a ride or die with Sami Zayn. Ride or die, baby. That's right. Sammy, 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 Sammy. 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 <laughs> All right. Yeah. That Edge and Beth Phoenix. Versus Judgment Day's Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley. Well, that series is, is taken. She has a husband already, so I'm going to go with the other team. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the other team. Beth Phoenix is married because if I if I try to date Big Beth Phoenix, Edge is going to spear me and kill me. <laughs> He's going to spear me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thank I'm you. gonna say um, Edge and Beth Phoenix are gonna are gonna beat them. You know, Judgment Day. I like what they're doing, but it's just not not as good not as good as the fans say it is. Wait, their build up is not. Whoa, re- really? Tell me more. Whoa. Well, the Judgment Day was going strong at first, but I think it lost a lot of steam after a clash at the castle a few months ago. <gasps> what? So it wasn't as big as the Bloodline storyline? Not as big as the Bloodline, no. Whoa. Bro. Ouch. Yeah. But we have our we have our pick in. Go ahead with the next match. And the um and Bobby Lashley against Brock Lesnar. <sighs> now this one is a double down for me because the way these two have been going at it. I would say Bobby Lashley would be the head, as you, if you already heard the NFL pickup, and I think uh, uh, Brock Lesnar would be an option. So it's a double down for me because, but it's going to be a good match, I, I hear. It's going to be a that really good be. match. I'm going to say um, Bro- I'm going to say Bobby Lashley because um, after what Brock Lesnar did with the um, streak um, about a few years ago, I'm not going to get into that. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, because I still agree with you. That's why I put it as a double down, so I agree with you. That's why I put it as a double down. All right. What's up next, buddy? That brings me the match lineup for this year's Elimination Chamber. Yeah, actually, it was a pretty short, uh, it's a pretty short uh, pay-per-view. I was like, I was kind of shocked because when you told me, I was like, uh, that's it. Uh, 
What? <laughs> exactly. Uh, wow. <laughs> you probably would think that there would be more matches on the road to WrestleMania. I mean, yeah, there's going to be more pay per views before that, but still. And then it's going to be a it's going to be a short press conference too because I try to listen to the press conference when I can, but uh, you know, uh, my attention span is pretty low since I had Savannah Pratchett. Yep. <laughs> wow. So this was really short. So do you have anything that you want to, you know, else you want to say since we have a pretty short pay per view? Yes, um, I forgot to tell you. Since we didn't do a podcast yesterday, today's episode of the STL Ocarina podcast will be uploaded one hour after it'll be going live on Facebook. So check it out on YouTube. And and if you use the coupon code Charles on the website www.stlocarina.com, you'll receive a whopping twenty percent off on all products. Oh wow! Yeah, and what, what is your what is your YouTube channel so that the fans can hear and see uh, hear and see your videos on YouTube? What is what is the channel uh, uh, so that the citizens could get to it? It's Big C one nine eight seven. There you go, buddy. There you go. Uh, before I do my commercial, I got to say, man, I mean, sorry that this week haven't treated us kind. I mean, I, it's like we're in World War III. I, I, I don't get it. I, I just don't get I'm still, I'm still baffled. I'm dumbfounded. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, I definitely will do the Perry Mason rant probably tomorrow. You know, get the full flavor of everything because uh, uh, the judge loves when I do the Perry Mason rant. So, the, so I'm going to definitely follow in some quests. But I'm just so angry over this week and then at all, all the situations, especially with my friends. I mean, there's a forest fire in my head. <laughs> there was a forest fire. What about what about you? Ah, there's always a forest fire going on in my life. Yeah, that's true. Oh, what the hell? Right. So, Cheryl, have yes, you sir? seen? Have you finally checked out Lift Good yet? I have. You have? And what did you think I about have. it? What do you think about it? Wow! All I can say is, in the words of Bray Wyatt, "Yowie, wowie." Huh? 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 Now. Records indicated that you did not pre-enroll in my in my power line. What happened? Now did you did you even sign up at all? Because I didn't get the email. I'm sorry, buddy. I've just been working. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, yeah. So let me let me tell you what happens before everybody saying, "What the cat is live good?" Well, I'll tell you. Matter of fact, you want to assist me in telling telling people about live good? Live good. It's so, really, really, it's really, really good. How so good is it? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what do you think about some of the products uh, that you might like getting? Oh my goodness! I like. Oh my goodness! You need to save a lot of money. Exactly. I'm thinking about getting the CBD. Uh, I'm thinking about getting the CBD oil, the peppermint, because of course I have anxiety. You know that. And I'm also thinking about getting the men's multivitamin. I'm not too keen on the coffee because I'm not a coffee drinker. Although they do have the super red, but I had super beef before, and the taste was just god awful, god awful. And. Uh, but you know, no, no, I might try it one day. But I'm definitely getting the multivitamins for the guys, and then I'm getting the uh, the CBD oil, and I'm getting the shirt and the hat because I want to I want to proudly display display Lip Good when I'm walking around saying that hey, I am I'm an affiliate of Lip Good, and I'm proud to show it. So exactly. yeah, I can't I can't wait to show off Lip Good, and um, and Sheriff, I want you on my team, buddy. I want you and your and you you and your wife on my team, buddy. I'll try my best, but you know, work's been killing me, though. 
But yeah, ouch. Oh, we can't have that happen. We can't have that happen. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got a lot of conventions coming up this year. Oh, cool. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know that the prices are easy in LiftGuard because that's why people are joining because of the low price. So in order to become a member of LiftGuard, it's a, I like to round it off. It's $10, $10 a month. And like if you join yearly, it's only a hundred dollars, and you don't have to wait. You don't have to worry about until the whole year. That's what I did. And yep. then now, when I joined, it was twenty dollars one time to be an affiliate. But everybody that joined at the twenty dollars is already grandfathered up. Because that means it's for life. So now, to be an affiliate of Live Good and to be able to possibly make money, now you have a choice. You can either use it to make money. Or you can just buy the uh, the great products and it'll still help out either way. And yep. but the, to be a member is only I mean to be a affiliate long shot to be an affiliate. <laughs> damn it, to be an long affiliate dollars. Good lord. Anyway, forty dollars one time and you never have to worry about it ever again. Then you have a choice. Right. Then you have a choice. And it's easier for you, Big C. You said work is killing you. Guess what? You can buy products any time that you want. There's no yep. set time frame of when you can buy the products. So that, that's work on a schedule like yours. That's worse. Now you might be asking yourself, so, Sharon, Big C, how do, how do you join Live Good? Well, I'll be glad to tell you. LiveGoodTour.com slash Big D Country. Got it? LiveGoodTour.com slash Big D Country. All right. I said, my, I said my piece. And now, Sheriff, I'm going to let you end the show the way that you do your podcast. So, right. Sheriff, you have the floor. Thank you for watching and listening this if you like what you saw, please check out the um, YouTube channel. This is Big D Country, and this is Charles Berman, once here, once again, saying thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time for another edition of the Big D Zone podcast. Take care, and we'll see you then.